Welcome to Rapid Fire. Today's game is... Curse Tomb was released in mid-2023 by Pro Division on the Commodore 64. Their action puzzle game has been in development for a very long time by the creator of the 2018 C64 game Yump 64, a technically very impressive trailblazer style game published by RGCD. Curse Tomb is a very fast-paced action puzzle style game where you have to loot every level of a trap-infested tomb of its jewels while on a strict timer. You simply push the direction you want to go and try not to die. Quick reactions and thought has to go into every move as you use the walls and objects to stop yourself from getting killed in various traps inside the tomb. The further the levels get, the way more interesting and diverse the rooms become. And obviously the challenge increases. Each of the 75 levels offer new tricks and enemies from ghosts, sparks and moving platforms and even teleportation devices. All adding to the quick thinking puzzle aspect of the game. I honestly before doing in this review wasn't sure if I was gonna like this game. Timers and puzzles are not high on my gameplay list, at least not in this kind of combination, but I was pleasantly surprised and quickly addicted to seeing what the next level had in store. Fortunately the game has an autosave feature and multiple difficulty modes, so if this is not your normal gaming style you can still enjoy it. The graphics are simple but work well. The further you get through the more dense and rich they become, rewarding your success visually. The music is enjoyable from the ominous title tune to the fast paced adventure tracks of the in-game music. It hits well with some good sound effects. Protovision themselves have also released the game in digital and physical form, disc and cartridge with a gorgeous manual and box. And I'll leave links in the description if you're interested in picking them up. And the game is also Mini Maxi, PAL and NTSC compatible, so all your C64 bases are covered. And there's another nice new C64 game that's totally worth a look. 